No matter what kind of surgery you had for breast cancer, melanoma cancer, or head and neck cancer, stretching and strengthening afterwards is crucial. Shoulder pain and issues are very common, not only right away after surgery or treatment, but also many years later. A proper exercise program needs to consider other cancer-related risks or concerns, like the risk of lymphedema. But the right program can help decrease pain and improve shoulder motion quicker so that you can get back to doing your daily activities and hobbies. My name is Kelly. I am an oncology physical therapist and lymphedema therapist. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you a few of my go-to shoulder exercises that will help get you back to doing what you love to do and feel your best. Before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also join us on Instagram for more related content on cancer recovery, and you can check out our website for other resources. So I'm going to go through and show a few exercises, but know that these are a part of my full 12 week healthy shoulder program designed for individuals living with and beyond cancer. I have spent almost the last decade working with individuals who have or have had cancer. I see shoulder issues practically every single day in the clinic, including those with pain or injuries that happen soon after cancer treatment. And for others, pain and issues that linger on for five, 10, or even more years after treatment is even done. Some individuals had shoulder issues or pains before being diagnosed and undergoing treatment, while others didn't have any pain or any issues until after. This program is designed to help build healthy and strong shoulders to help decrease any pain and also to minimize any shoulder issues long term. This program includes exercises for stretching, mobility, strength, and stability for the shoulder and the surrounding upper body, as well as the core. So I'll be sharing a couple of the exercises in this video, but if you'd like the full program, you can find more information on my website at www.cancerrehabpt.com, which I will link up above here in the description box down below. But otherwise, let's get started. One area we want to focus on is stretches and mobility to improve the range of motion and improve the alignment of the shoulder joint. So one stretch I like to start with that focuses on the pec muscle, which is the large muscle across your chest, which usually gets irritated or inflamed or tight from surgery and radiation or even just our natural poor posture. Stretches should be light and felt mildly but not intense. So let's show the exercise. A gentle place to start is to do this by lying on your back. You will place your hands behind your head and have your elbows pointed up towards the ceiling. Now for some, this position might be too much, but your therapist can guide you for modifications as needed. From here, as able, we will gently allow our elbows to fall out to the sides only until we feel a mild stretch across the chest. Wherever that may be, pause and take a deep breath. Allow yourself to relax into the stretch as you let your breath go. Hold for about five more seconds. Then slowly return your elbows back to the ceiling. We'll repeat this again. The goal is to work up to 10 second holds, three to five times or repetitions. And this can be done one to two times a day. This stretch is a great place to start to ease into improving the motion of the pec muscle and the chest area, which will help bring the shoulders back into a better alignment so there's less pinching and less pain in the front or on the top. Now let's get into strengthening. Making sure to strengthen the muscles around your shoulder blade and your shoulder can help combat the shoulder tightness or the postural issues because tightness in the chest after surgery and radiation can have the tendency to pull someone forward into a rounded position. 
And when that happens, so the shoulder alignment may be off and someone is more likely to have shoulder pain and long-term issues when they try to use their arm because of that misalignment and immobility with pinching issues. So these exercises are used to help with stability and stabilizing as well as strengthening the shoulder blade or scapular region. So a favorite is a scapular wall slide. What you're gonna do is stand at a wall or a door. You wanna stand so your elbows and your forearms are touching the wall and parallel to each other. Back up until you feel your arms fully extended but your elbows remain at the wall. You want to feel as though your elbows and your arms are punching away from your body. From here, you're going to raise your arms up the wall, trying to keep them as close to the wall as possible, but understanding that the elbows are going to come somewhat away from the wall. You're going to slide your arms back down the wall, and you're going to repeat this 10 to 15 times or repetitions, and you can do two to three sets, one to two times a day. The last exercise is focused on another area important to the shoulder health, and that's the rotator cuff muscles. These muscles help to align and stabilize the shoulder joint while allowing the joint to move effectively and in control. They wrap around your shoulder, and there are four of them in different directions. So we're gonna start by laying on our side with our elbow at our side. The elbow can be bent to 90 degrees and we'll take a small rolled towel and tuck it between our elbow and our side and so we keep our elbow nice and close. With the arm resting in front of you, you're going to start to slowly rotate the arm open until you get as high as you can without letting the body rotate back or the elbow coming away from the towel. We'll slowly let the arm come back down and we'll repeat that 20 to 25 times, nice and slow and with control. Someone may feel fatigue in the back of the shoulder, but if you have any pain, you will want to either decrease your range of motion or stop the exercise completely. The exercise should be nice and gentle without any resistance to start. We never want to use heavy weights with this exercise because that can irritate the rotator cuff muscles or overload them too much. This exercise can be done in 10 to 15 repetitions as needed if the muscles get fatigued and working your way up to 20 to 25 over time. This exercise can be done one to two times a day. And those are the three exercises for a healthy shoulder that someone can do after cancer treatment once cleared by their doctor. Again, if you'd like to learn more about a full 12 week program, gradually building through each week, then you can click on the link in the description box down below for information on my website. I hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks everyone.